What's up everyone? So on today's video, I wanted to share a little review with you on the Vortex 10x42 Diamondback binoculars. Now, I've been using these binoculars throughout the past year and I've come to really like them. And they're just a great all around binocular, especially for bow hunters. And so uh, that's what I want to share with you today. So let's just jump right into this review. But first we gotta do the intro, right? Intro. Now the first thing that I really like about these binoculars is their size. They're very compact. They have a little dent here where you put your thumb. So they just sit up on your face super easily. And uh, it's definitely the first thing I noticed last summer when I got them is that just the way they feel in your hands. And when you've got them on your vino strap harness, you just got them sitting here and they're just, they're very lightweight. Uh, so the next thing that I really wanted to touch on was the fact that I just how clear these are. For a binocular that comes in at the price range of $280. These are about as clear as can be, um, especially when you get into low light situations. I had to use these multiple times in low light where they really just stood out to me. And, and being able to see clearly in low light situations, you know, especially as a bow hunter, a lot of times you've got maybe a buck coming in towards the end of legal shooting light. You want to get eyes on them first. And uh, these do the trick with that super well. So the next thing that I want to touch on was the adjustable eyepiece. I really like how you just spin this and come out. I know a lot of binoculars do that, but the way that they just, when they sit on your face, they're so comfortable and you can just adjust these. And I wear glasses, I don't wear them often. I'm always wearing contacts, but when I need to wear glasses, it's really nice just to be able to adjust these super easily. And then when it comes to focusing, the dial on here, just, it focuses really nicely. And I've never had an issue. My old pair of binoculars that I had, I always had an issue focusing it right. And it seemed like when I spun this, I don't know if you guys have ever had an issue with any binocular, but when you spun the focus, it just didn't spin right and it was tough to push and then you would be not in focus and it was just really irritating. These never worried about and uh, definitely another thing I like about these. And the other thing that I wanted to touch on was these do come with covers that cover the eyepieces. I honestly take those off and don't ever use them. Um, I do keep these covers on. Um, I know a lot of people don't, but I like to, I'm always either in thick brush or something that could be scratching them up or I just like to keep them covered. Um, and then the other thing that I want to touch on was that these binoculars come with either just a shoulder strap, which I've used before, or a bino harness, which I'm using now. And it also comes with a Vortex glass pack, which I'll show some footage here. I usually only use that in inclement weather if it's raining. Um, otherwise, I like to have this as light as can be, just sitting on my chest. Um, but I will use the glass pack when it's pouring out that way. You know, you don't have rain since I don't use the covers. Um, don't have water build up with the eyepieces or anything like that. And really the last thing that I want to touch on was Vortex's VIP warranty. It's really unmatched in my opinion. If you were to drop these from a tree stand, run them over with your truck, I don't know if you were to somehow drop it and do a fire, I'm sure it's happened. Um, Vortex, all you gotta do is send it to them and they'll fix them and if they can't fix them, they'll send you a brand new pair. So that's, I don't know of anyone else that does anything really like that, which is really cool. And uh, so you really, you don't have to worry when you have a pair of Vortex binoculars, which is awesome. And that's really it. This isn't a nitty gritty spec review. I mean, if you wanna read the specs, check it out online. That's what I do. I am not a sucker for specs in the fact that I don't know exactly how much these weigh. I could look them up. I don't know exactly how long they are, but to me, they're lightweight, compact, perfect for a bow hunter. And that's what I care about. So hope you enjoyed this little review. If you liked this video, please hit that like button and turn on the bell for notifications when I uh, upload new videos. That really goes a long way with me and really helps when I'm trying to build this YouTube channel and grow this community because ultimately I'm trying to bring you content that you'll find valuable. So if you find this video valuable, drop a comment, let me know. If you don't, let me know. And uh, like I said, I'm just trying to bring you the best content possible going forward. I got a lot of stuff planned for the summer and it's pretty crazy to think that fall's gonna be here in just a couple months. So with that, I'm signing out and uh, thanks for watching.